First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechakwadash for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. Yahweh, be the name of the Heavenly Father, Bahashem, meaning in the name of Yahweh Shai, be the name of Yahweh's only begotten Son and our Lord and Savior, also who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Bahashem Rechakwadash, meaning in the name of the Holy Spirit. That by honest to the elders and the apostles of great millstone and shall want to the old for let the scattered brought to the four corners of the earth which are you so-called blacks hispanics and native american indians and shall want to you speckled birds and your israelite foreigners that scatter out in the other nations that look like the other nations but are in fact israelites and as you see from the title of this lesson this lesson is going to be centered around the yellow spirit equaling death all right and the spirit was pretty much put on me to you know make a lesson about this because um you know as you look around at our people for the most part our people have that yellow spirit on them you know the spirit of you know you only live once so you might as well go ahead and do this or go ahead and do that you know so on and so forth you know that's the mindset of uh you know typical so-called blacks hispanics and native american indians you know uh here in america specifically all right you know uh all our people care about you know is living it up you know to the to the fullest you know because in their mind you know you only get one shot at this thing called life all right and according to the scriptures you know that's completely false all right because for one you know uh when you die <laughs> you know you, you you pretty much go to the throne of uh of the lord you know you receive your judgment for whatever you did in your life then so many generations later you come back and then you serve out that judgment all right reincarnation which i made a lesson on for those of you who are new to this channel you know you can go check that lesson out all right but yeah you know we we don't live we don't just live once you know we've all been here before and then two you know when you have that mindset you know you're not looking towards you know the kingdom to come all right you know because the scriptures tell us that you know initially you know we were created to be immortal all right i'm gonna get that precept later on in this lesson so you know long story short you know when you have the mindset of you know you only live once you know you pretty much you're more susceptible to do wickedness you know you're, you're more susceptible to sin all right so um you know through the spirit you know i'm gonna pretty much just bring out a few precepts talking about this and i'm going i'm going to go into wisdom of solomon chapter two because for the most part you know that's where um the yellow spirit is mainly talked about all right so before i even get into into, into um wisdom of solomon chapter two i want to bring out uh a few precepts so the first precept i'm gonna bring out is romans chapter six and uh let's read romans chapter six and verse 23 all right and it says for the wages of sin is death but the gift of yahweh is eternal life eternal life meaning to live forever <laughs> all right through yahweh shah mashiach our lord all right so you know uh like i said you know when you have that yellow spirit typically you're going to be more susceptible to sin all right and as you see right here the wages of sin is death but then the scripture goes on to say but the gift of yahweh is eternal life through hamash through yahweh shai hamashiach our lord all right so initially uh like i said you know uh we we are supposed to be immortal living forever all right you know so yeah you know that yellow spirit you know uh it, it equals death all right so uh now let's go ahead and bounce to ecclesiastes chapter 44 and let's uh start at verse 8 all right and it says there be of them that have left a name behind them that their praises might be reported all right you know so those of us that sincerely in this truth you know trying to serve yahweh by shim yahweh to the best of our ability you know uh we don't have that yellow spirit 
you know, we want to be remembered, you know, uh, like our, our forefathers were remembered, you know, which is why you have many stories of our righteous forefathers, you know, you know, King David, you know, Job, Abraham, so on and so forth, you know, many righteous King Salaki, many righteous uh, forefathers, you know, and they will remember because guess what, you know, they were living for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, all right, verse nine, and some there be which have no memorial, who are perished as though they had never been, and are become as though they had never been born, and their children after them, all right, so that's going to be those of you that's sitting around here living in that yellow spirit, you know, you only live once, you know, so just go ahead and live it up and do what the hell you want to do, you know, that's going to be you, you're, you're not going to be remembered in the kingdom of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, all right, because what good have you done, you know, you didn't serve Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai on this side, so, you know, why would you be remembered, you know, but those of us that are serving Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, you know, we're going to be remembered, you know, because, you know, we live righteously to the best of our ability, all right? So long story short, you know, uh, those of us that's, uh, you know, trying to serve you, how about Shem Yahweh Shai to the best of our ability, you know, uh, you know, we're, think we're thinking ahead, you know, we have tunnel vision, you know, we're looking towards the kingdom, all right? The world to come, you know, we're not in that yellow spirit, all right? But the typical Jake, majority of uh, Israel, you know, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and natives, you know, uh, they have that yellow spirit, you know, you only live once. So uh, let's just live it up, you know, uh, let's party it up, go to the club, you know, commit adultery, you know, uh, chase a bag, this, that, and other, you know, typical stuff that Jake be into, you know, they are, they have that yellow spirit about them. They're not looking towards the kingdom. All right. So ultimately, you know, they're not going to be remembered in the kingdom to come. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and hop to Matthew chapter 16. And let's read verse, verse 28. And it says, Verily I say unto you, There be some standing here who shall not taste of death till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. All right. So you know, that right there alone just proves that, you know, the statement that you only live once or, you know, we're all going to die eventually anyways, you know, that proves that statement to be completely false. Because as you see right here, there's going to be some that won't even taste death. All right. You know, so that whole yellow spirit, you know, we're all going to die eventually anyway. So just let, let's just live it up. You know, that's that's death. All right. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into Wisdom of Solomon chapter two you know because this is where you know the whole yellow spirit is talked about all right <clears throat> so uh this is wisdom of solomon chapter two and let's start at the top all right and it says for the ungodly all right said reasoning with themselves but not a right or life is short and tedious hmm that yellow spirit and in the death of a man there is no remedy all right you know they they think that there's nothing that could uh cure death you know and that's false you know these scriptures right here is the remedy of death you know this is going to lead us to uh immortality you know everlasting life all right but the typical j can't see that you know so let's keep going neither was there any man known to have returned from the grave verse two for we are born at all adventure and we shall be hereafter as though we had never been. All right. And let's correlate that that scripture right here, verse two, back to what we just read. And um, you know, Ecclesiastes chapter 44. All right. You know, those that have that yellow spirit, you know, they're not gonna be remembered. All right. You know, the ungodly, you know, they're not gonna be remembered in the kingdom to come, all right. That's why the scripture says, you know, it's going to be as though that they have never been. All right. Let's keep going. For the breath in our nostrils is as smoke and a little spark in the moving of our heart. All right. So pretty much they're saying that, you know, life is short, you know, verse three, which being extinguished, our bodies shall be turned 
into ashes and our spirit shall vanish as the soft air. <clears throat> Verse four, and our name shall be forgotten in time. All right. You know, and keep in mind, this is the ungodly as is stated in verse one all right so the ungodly you know those that have that yellow spirit you know this is the mindset of they got the mindset of that you know they won't be remembered you know they're going to be forgotten about but those that don't have the yellow spirit we're looking towards the kingdom to come where we will be remembered for the good works that we did on this side all right verse uh so lucky let's keep on reading verse uh four and no man shall have our works in remembrance. All right, see how that's correlating right along what we just read in verse in uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 44. And our life shall pass away as the trace of a cloud and shall be dispersed as a mist that is driven away with the beams of the sun and overcome with the heat thereof. Verse five, for our time is very so like it, for, time, for our time is a very shadow that passeth away, and after our end there is no returning, for it is for it is fast sealed, so that no man cometh again. Verse six, come on therefore, let us enjoy the good things that are present, and let us speedily use the creatures like as in youth. All right, so and you know as we see from you know uh, verse one all the way down to verse six this is describing that yellow spirit all right now let's read verse six again it says come on therefore let us enjoy the good things that are present and let us speedily use the creatures like as in youth all right so that's the that's the mindset that you know people that live in that yellow spirit have you know they have the mindset of you know let's come on let's go and enjoy life you know let's live it up you know let's go party you know, commit adultery, smoke, drink, you know, hit the club, this, that, another, you know, typical stuff that, you know, uh, Jake with the yellow spirit be into, you know. So uh, verse seven, let us fill ourselves with costly wine and ointments and let no flower of the spring pass us by. All right. So as you see right here, you know, that's typically what, you know, uh, Jake be into, you know, go, let's go drink. You know, let's hit the club, all right? Which is why verse seven said, let us, fi let us fill ourselves with costly wine and ointments and let no flower of the spring pass us by. Meaning, you know, let's not waste time, all right? You know, because our time is short. You know, that's the mindset of, you know, the Jakes out there, you know, with the YOLO spirit, all right? And also the ungodly of these other nations as well, all right? You know, because obviously they're not gonna get the kingdom to come. You know, so, you know, obviously they're going to be in that yellow spirit, you know, but you Jake's out there, you don't you, you shouldn't have that mindset because we have a kingdom that's coming. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and keep going. Verse. Uh, so like, yeah, hold on. Yeah, verse eight. And it says, let us crown ourselves with rosebuds before they be withered. Verse nine. Let us let none of us go without his part of our voluptuousness. Let us not, let us leave tokens of our joyfulness in every place, for this is our portion, and our lot is this. All right, you know. So they think that this life, you know, this is their lot. You know, to just to just live it up. You know, do whatever the hell they want because you know, quote unquote, life is short. You know, that yellow spirit. All right, verse ten. Let us oppress the poor righteous man. Let us not spare the widow, nor reverence the ancient gray hairs of the age. Verse 11. Let our strength be the law of justice, for that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth. All right, let's... Um, verse 12. Therefore, let us lie and wait for the righteous, because he is not from our, for our turn. All right, meaning, you know, the righteous, you know, uh, those that are serving Yahweh Bashim Shai, those that don't have the yellow spirit, you know, that we're not like them. All right. Now, this is going to this is going into those that, uh, you know, pretty much those that, you know, uh, be pretty much rebuking, you know, the, the ungodly. All right. Those that don't have that yellow spirit on them. All right. 
So uh, let's keep going. And it says, and he is clean contrary to our doings. All right. This is talking about the righteous man. All right. The, the man that's following or trying to follow Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah to the best of his ability. All right. Let's keep going. It says, he abraded us with our offense. Salakia. He abraded us with our offending the law and objected to our infamy, the transgressing of our education. Verse 13. He professed to have the knowledge of Yahweh. All right. And that's what we do. You know, us brothers, you know, the ones that's out here teaching and whatnot, you know, we profess to have this truth, you know. And he calleth himself the child of the Lord. All right. And that's what we do. You know, we, we, we say that we are the biblical Israelites. You know, we say that we have the truth, you know, that was given to us by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. So this is all is explaining. This is all is describing, you know, the ungodly and the righteous man. All right. Let's keep going. Verse 14. He was made to reprove our thoughts. All right. And ain't that what, our, what us brothers are doing? You know, those that's teaching his word. You know, we're reproving the thoughts of the wicked, the ungodly of our people. All right. Verse 15. He is grievous unto us, even to behold, for his life is not like other men's. His ways are of another fashion. All right. You know, we, we don't conduct ourselves like the world. You know, we don't conduct ourselves as the ungodly, those that have that yellow spirit, because we're seeking this truth. You know, we're trying to serve you. How about Shimei al Shai? So we could ultimately make it into the kingdom. All right. On the first go round. Verse 16. We are esteemed of him as counterfeits. <laughs> all right. He abstaineth from our ways as from Salakia. He abstaineth from our ways as from filthiness. All right. You know, that's how we look at, you know, um, the world, you know, the, the, the wicked of our people. You know, we look at them like they are through, you know. That's how we look at these Jakes just out here just doing whatever the hell they want, you know. Let's keep going. He pronounced the end of the just to be blessed. All right. You know, that's exactly what we be doing out here. You know, you know, us, us brothers that be teaching and whatnot, you, you were prophesying that, you know, uh, eventually, you know, uh, the just, you know, those that are serving you, how about Shimei Yahweh Shai, we're ultimately going to be blessed. You gonna, We're going to receive the kingdom, you know, and everything that comes along with it. All right. Everlasting life, you know, uh, wealth, you know. You know, being able to experience life, you know, that's what we are professing. Let's keep going. And make it his boast that Yahweh is his father. Verse 17. Let us see if his words be true and let us prove what shall happen in the end of him. All right. You know, and that's that's the wicked of our people, you know, the world in general, you know, but, you know, specifically our people, because, you know, our people don't believe us. You know, when we say that, you know, uh. We're going to be immortal. You know, we're going to get the kingdom to come. You know, we're going to be the rulers of the earth. You know, they look at us crazy. You know, they don't believe that. All right. Which is why this verse just said, let us see if his words be true and let us prove what shall happen in the end of him. All right. Verse 18. For if the just man be the son of Yahweh, he will help him and deliver him from the hand of his enemies. All right. Verse 19. Let us examine him despite. Salaki, let us examine him with despitefulness and torture that we may know his meekness and prove his patience. All right. You know, so pretty much, you know, the, the ungodly, you know, they, they pretty much, you know, they despise us. You know, they really hate us. All right. Verse 20. Let us condemn him with a shameful death for by his own saying, he shall be respected. Verse 21. Such things they did imagine and were deceived for their own wickedness hath blinded them all right you know so our own people so our people's wickedness hath blinded them all right they can't see this truth you know they too caught up in this world and doing whatever the hell they want you know caught up in that yellow spirit all right so therefore they're blinded you know verse uh 22 as for the mysteries of yahweh they knew them not all right so the world you know uh the wicked of our people you know uh they're not able to see they, they ain't able to receive the mysteries of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Only the elect 
was uh given the mysteries of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, let's go ahead and prove that right quick. Let's go to uh, Matthew chapter 13 and verse 11, all right? And it says, he answered, Salakia, he answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given, all right? So as you see from here, you know, uh, only a select few was given the mysteries of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, but the rest they ain't receive it, you know. So, so that's what's being you know spoken of in uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter uh, chapter two. All right, let's go back. All right, and I believe we was at Salakia. Yeah, we was at uh, verse twenty-two. Let's just read it again. All right, and it says. As for the mysteries of Yahweh, they knew them not, neither hoped they for the wages of righteousness, nor discerned a reward for blameless souls. Verse 23, for Yahweh created man to be immortal and made him to be the be an image of his own eternity. All right. You know, so that cuts that whole, you know, uh, you know, you only live once mindset all right because initially Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai created us to be immortal and he created us to be as the image of his own eternity all right you know but the ungodly you know uh the the those that's in that yellow spirit you know they're not able to see that you know they don't understand it when you know the when we tell them that you know uh you know if you keep the law statutes and commandments to the best of your ability and the faith first and foremost you know and do everything that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh told him to do, you know, you're going to be rewarded for that. And that reward is going to be everlasting life, you know, being immortal, living forever, you know, but they think they think we crazy, you know, when we tell them that. All right. Now, let's read this last verse and I'm going to close this lesson out. And it says, nevertheless, through envy of the devil came death into the world and they that do hold of his side do find it. All right. So, yeah, you know, that yellow spirit, you know, it equals death, you know, because when you had a yellow spirit, you know, you pretty much, you know, do all types of wickedness, you know, because, you know, you have the mindset of you only live once, you know, so you're just going to go all out and do whatever the hell you want. You know, you're going to commit adultery, you know, uh, smoke, get drunk, you know, be a harlot out here in the streets, you know, uh, you know, catch multiple bodies, you know, uh, so on and so forth. You know, you're just going to be completely wicked when you have that yellow spirit. You know, and you're not going to have your eyes single on the kingdom to come. All right. So, you know, yeah, if you have that yellow spirit, get out of it fast. All right. Because ultimately, that's just going to lead you to death. All right. So, you know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you, brothers and you sisters that's out there scattered to the four corners of the earth. And as always, I want to give all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai. By Hashem, Rechakwadash, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And Shalom to you brothers is out there pushing this truth and sincerity. Shalom.